Hey, what's going on, people? I'm back. Um, right now, I've got the fuzz pedal plugged in and a delay. That's the Ibanez D7. And uh, let's hear some slapback echo sounds. Um, I love that sound, by the way. That was sick. Let's try some longer delay sounds. I'm going to switch it over to the, um, the 500 millisecond setting. Um, let's see how this sounds. Switch over to the bridge pickup, adding some fuzz. and my delay and I think every guitar player and bassist should do that like you got to find the amp the amp voicing that works with your guitar and your pedal board <laughs> Yeah, and then you can even do, um, gosh, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. Let's go back to um, a little bit less extreme setting. And... Uh, jazz sound out of this. Um. 
Yeah, so those are a few of the basic sounds you can get with the crate. Um, I'm basically running it as a, a very loud, clean amp. Once again, the volume is just on one right now. And if I was like, you know, jamming with a band or something like that, I would, it would be much louder. But um, yeah, it's a great amp for the purposes that I'm using it for, which is, um, you know, just jamming with people here and there and needing, needing an amplifier for those purposes. Um, it also has a line out in the back where I can take the line out into a recorder and record, and that's great. And, you know, like I said earlier, it, it, the circuit blends seamlessly with um, the pedals that I have and my, my favorite pedals, you know. So overall, I'm giving this amp, I want to give it a nine and a half out of ten, honestly. Um, I mean, I get <laughs> a perfect ten, of course, being like a vintage, you know, twin reverb or like, you know, vintage Marshall Plexi circuit, something like that. But yeah, I would say this baby gets so close to it. You know, she's probably about a nine and a half easily. So uh, yeah, check it out. The Crate V32 Palomino. I'm going to try to get one little shot of it real quick. Hold on, mess this up. See, that's the, uh, the D7 and the Milk's Fuzz. This is the front of the amp. My cable blocking it, of course. Highly underrated amp, definitely a sleeper amp. Check it out. 